Good morning class 2. How are you all doing? I hope you are doing great. My name is Shristi Shahi and I will be teaching you English. So this is your English literature book and we'll read a poem today. The name of the poem is The Red Ball. So let's start. Oh look what I have found. A nice red ball. Who is I in the first line? A little boy who found a red ball. I'll keep it and make not a sound and no one will know, no one at all. The boy liked the ball and he wanted to keep it and take it home. It's fun to kick and play. I wonder what mother would say. The boy is telling that it's fun to kick and play with the ball. But he is also afraid of his mother, what his mother would say. Why is he afraid? Because it was not his ball. Behind the bush, I'll make it hide and mother won't know I have lied. So he had an idea to hide the ball behind the bush and lie his mother. Then suddenly I heard a soft cry. The ball was Jamie's. Oh my my. What did he hear? A soft cry. Whose ball was it? It was Jamie's ball. Now he will surely go and tell my mother and my Sister Nell. Now the boy is very afraid, really afraid of his mother and sister Nell. Why is he afraid? Because he hid Jamie's ball and which was not a good thing to do. So I hugged him tight and cried and he pushed me away and sighed. Now the boy hugged Jamie and he also started crying. But Jamie pushed him away and sighed. What is the meaning of sighed? Let out a long breath. Why does it make you so very sad? You found my ball and made me glad. The uh, boy, that means Jamie is telling the other boy that there is nothing to be said when you found my ball and made me happy. So stop crying. Uh, what did you learn from this poem? We learn from this poem that we should not take things that belong to others. And if we find something, we should return it. It's a good habit. So that's all for today. Stay home. Maintain social distancing. Bye. Take care.